This is Mrs. Robertson and today in my first period cluster math class we are going to go over how to convert unit rates with complex fractions. This is chapter one lesson three and we are we did part of the lesson on Friday. We're going to continue this lesson today. So let's go to page 29 and we're going to do problem number one together. Page 29, number one. Well, the first thing we do is read the problem. The go-kart's top speed is 607,200 feet per hour. What is the speed in miles per hour? We are going to convert. But first we have to figure out what it is we're going to convert. So you're going to write, um, write it as a fraction, 607,000 200 feet over one hour, okay? Now we are going to multiply it by something, so we end up with, what do they want in your answer? Miles per hour. So on our chart, we're wanting to end up with miles on top and hours on bottom, okay? Well, that's pretty friendly because hours will stay hours, but we have to cancel out feet. And the way you cancel out the feet is you put it on the bottom. And what do we want to end up with our answer? Miles. All right. Now, what's our unit rate for miles and feet? One mile is equal to what? Yes. Right, one mile, you're going to put one on top with mile, and 5,280 with feet. Now this is simple, look, the feet cancels out, boom, boom, you end up with miles, which is what you want, and you end up with hours. Okay, now, and that is a one. So, to get the answer, you end up with 600... 7,200 feet over 5,280. We have to now simplify that. So in your calculators, you would be allowed to divide um, 6, 607,200 by 5,280. Now, if you don't have that written on your paper, you can't use your calculator. And when you do that, you end up with what? You end up with, yes, 115 miles in one hour. Okay, so in an hour, that go-kart, if it's at its top speed, would go 115 miles. Any questions on that problem? Okay, let's do problem number two. I'm going to have to start my problem number two underneath um, this problem here. Let me go to a different color. I'm going to go with black for that one. Okay, so this is problem number two. The fastest a human has ever run is 27 miles per hour. How many miles per minute did the human run? Okay, so we're going to start off 27 seven miles over one hour times something will equal the answer we want to know miles per minute miles over minute so you go back to your problem do you have to mess with miles no it's already miles but I'm gonna to have to mess with hours because I want to change it to minutes so we're going to put hours on top, so that cancels, and I want minutes, so I put minutes on bottom. You see what I did there. Now, what's our unit rate for hours and minutes? It's, unit rate means it equals one. So this number of hours equals the number of minutes, or the number of minutes equals the number of hours. Yes. 60. Does the 60 go with hours, or does the 60 go with minutes? minutes? 60 goes with minutes. One goes with hours, and we multiply. You end up with 27 miles in 60 minutes, 
we want to know for one minute. So divide 27 by 60 and that will give you your answer. And when you divide 27 by 60, what did you get for your answer? Point what? Point four five. Forty five hundredths of a mile in a minute. Forty five hundredths of a mile in a minute. Any questions on that? Okay. Now let's go to the next problem. Number three. The Peregrine fa Falcon can fly 322 kilometers per hour. How many meters per hour can the Falcon fly? Well, let's start with 332, oh, and that's kilometers in one hour. 322, thank you. 322. How many meters can it fly in one hour? So we're going to end up with meters in one hour. Meters per hour. All right. So what are we going to multiply it by? Something where we have our meters on top and kilometers on bottom because we want to cancel that out. What's our unit rate for meters and kilometers? You have to show this part on your paper, kids. What are you going to write down? How many meters are in a kilometer? If you go to page 20, what it was an earlier page in the book, it has a list of those. Um, also in your planners, there's a list. 1,000, kids, it's 1,000 meters equals one kilometer okay so when you multiply this is friendly it'll one times one is one and you will end up with three hundred twenty two thousand meters per hour any questions on how to do those first three problems okay the next one is where you require to have to do a double um, a double conversion. So now we're going to go back in our book and look at example number one. Or not number one, example number three on page 27. Example number three, number 27. Um, feet per hour. No. We don't need to do example three, but it's example four. Let's go to example four. This is the harder one. Example four. Are we ready? Good. The average speed of one team in a relay race is about 10 miles per hour. All right, so they wrote down 10 miles per hour. That's pretty easy. What is the speed in feet per second? They want to change both of them. We have to change feet and we have to change second. You're changing distance and time, kids. So you are going to have to multiply by two different units, okay? Because you want to end up with feet per second. So you have 10 miles per hour, which is your given. You need to end up with feet. So you're going to take feet over miles. So that cancels out your miles. And you end up with feet. That's good. And you have to do another one. You need to go from hours to seconds. Now, kids, I want to explain what they did in the book. Most of you know that one hour equals three three thousand six hundred seconds okay there are sixty seconds in a minute sixty minutes so I would have taken one 
hour over 3,600 seconds. Why did they not do that? I would have combined those two into one because in the chart it doesn't tell you that one hour equals 3,600 seconds, okay? So the way I would have set the problem up, and I want you to do the same thing, over here on the left side of your paper, let's write down 10 miles over one hour times, we're going to keep, we're going to change miles to feet, 5,280 feet over one mile, and that cancels out that one, right? Then we're going to multiply it so we can get rid of our um, hours and change it to seconds. So our hours, we need to have hours on top and seconds on bottom. And we know that one hour is 3,600 seconds. Do you just see what we have done here? Now, we have canceled out um, hours. So what will we end up with? Feet per second. Okay, we're going to end up with feet per second. So when I multiply this, you end up with, oh look, it works out perfectly. 5,000 or 5,280 times 10 is 52,800 and 1 times 1 times 3,600 equals that, and then you have to divide 52,800 by 3,600, and you're going to get, uh, and they had to round it, 14.7 feet per one second. Now, if you show all of this, you are allowed to use a calculator for the final step. If you do not, you will not, and I will be checking the rows. The moment you start cheating yourself, you're going to be not using a calculator. Do you understand? Okay, so that's how you do the more complicated problems. Let's do problem number four. Here we go. In problem number four, a pipe is leaking at 1.5 cups per day. About how many gallons per week is the pipe leaking. So we're going to start off 1.5, I'm going to use C for cups, over one day. And we want to end up with gallons per week. I have to change cups to gallons and I have to change day to week. You got it? So, I'm going to have to multiply it by two things. This one for the cups, this one to change day to weeks. Alright? And you're going to have to go into under the 5, and then you're going to end up with your answer of, what do they want? Gallons on top and weeks on bottom. Does everyone have that written on their paper? All right, now I'm going to start with changing cups to gallons. All right, you need to know that there are 16 cups in a gallon. All right, so I'm going to put cups on bottom, gallons on top. And I just told you there are 16 cups in one gallon. You can always call that up on your computer. All right. That cancels out my cup label. That is canceled. Now let's go to the days and the weeks label. With the days and the weeks, I want to put days on top so I can cancel that out and weeks on bottom so I end up with weeks, okay? Now, what's the unit rate for days and weeks? Yes. Seven days equals one week. Now you all know what to do. It's a multiplication problem, right? So you're going to end up with 1.5 times 1 times 7 and that equals 10.5 gallons. 1 
times 16 times 1 equals 16 weeks. Now you can use your calculator and you're going to end up saying that is point six six gallons in one week. So it's not a whole lot that they are losing in the leak of the pipe. Do you see what we just did there? All right. Now, let's do number five, and then I'm going to tell you what your homework and classwork assignment is. Um, I'm going to do problem number five. We won't be able to do number six, so put a little X on number six, and we're going to do number five down here. This is my problem number five. Charlie runs at a speed of three yards per second. Three yards over one second. About how many miles per hour does Charlie run? What do we want to end up with? Miles per hour, and this is another, a double whammy. I'll put this on pause. All right, now we know that we want to end up with miles per hour. So that means I have to change yards to miles and seconds to hours. It's going to have to be a double whammy. Something times something will equal miles per hour. Okay, so we want to end up with miles per hour. Any questions on that, kids? So let's first change, um, I'm going to change yards to miles. To change yards to miles, I have to put yards on the bottom, so that can cancel out, and I want it to be miles. Now, for this, there will be one mile equals 5,280 divided by 3, and that's 1,760. Everyone just see what I did there. Now I need to change seconds to hours. That means I have to put seconds on top and hours on the bottom. And I'm looking for my green pin. There it is. So I'm going to put seconds on top. Why? So I can cancel it out and I want hours. Hours on the bottom. So yep, I'm going to end up with hours and miles on top. Now. What's my unit rate for seconds and hours? How many seconds equal one hour? Yes. 3,600 over one hour. And now it's the easy part. You're just going to multiply um, 3 times 3,600. That's 10,800. And 1 times 1,760 times 1 is 1,760. Now we do have to divide in your calculator, divide, and you end up with 6.1 miles in one hour. Any questions on that? Okay, for today, we are going to do a worksheet, and I'm going to show you which problems I want you to do on the worksheet, and it will be... On this side here, I would like for you to do all of the problems here. They start off easy and then they get a little bit harder, so do all on the front side. Do all on the 6 Math 7 C1L3 Reteach, do all. Then on the back side, I would like for you to do number one, number five, number nine, and you will probably have to go underneath these over here. So don't worry about do one, five, nine, and then I do want you to do 11 and 12. So you're going to do the five problems, and then on the other side you are going to do five, a total of 10 homework problems, and you have over 20 minutes to do that. So let's begin now. Question.
Yes, you can go get it. Have a good day.